Hi, and welcome back for episode 5. Uh, let's play the Black Ice mod for Hearts of Iron 3, playing as Turkey. Uh, last time we had just invaded Bulgaria. We're beating them, but uh, having a little bit of trouble in the mountains. We shouldn't have too much issue getting this town surrounded. Fighting in urban is really tough if you haven't got it surrounded and getting a, a bonus from each each province that you're attacking from. I'm going to take a little bit of time at the beginning of this and look at some of my units. I don't know much about Turkish military history. I don't know if these are the correct rifles or, you I mean, the uniform looks kind of like a... I don't like an American dude. I'm not sure if that's... If they have sprites or whatever made, or little little placards made for all these guys. I mean, that looks kind of Turkish. A little submachine gun or a carbine. I always love the flamethrower picture for that. My guys are fairly well updated, at least for fighting the Bulgarians. I don't know how I'm going to do against the French and British down here in Africa. Hope, hopefully not too bad. I don't have... Once I get heavy artillery, I'm not worried about holding this once the Soviets enter the war. Let's see, was he, he was able to retreat into Yugoslavia. They're either going to get invaded or have to join the Axis. Industrial efficiency. Soviets just took Estonia, Latvia, and Ethiopia, uh, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. I think they just get that by event. I don't see any troops up here. Let me grow Deutschland division. Only 11%. Support attack, use some bombers. Uh, Desert Union training, finally. Where is that? Command Special Forces. Uh, I'm not gonna win it. Th I'm not gonna get around that way. Should do that battle. Their infantry division. We'll attach it to one of these cores. Well, we've got these guys sitting here doing nothing. Let's get some leaders into them. Get them over and we'll get them some experience. There we go, 70%. Another infantry division and some free IC. Alright, that one move. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of the artillery. We get some combat airstrike aircraft going. I don't know how fast I can move through the desert if I want a mobile unit or not. Can I build any of these specialized light infantry yet? No. I can build fascist militia, but I don't see any advantage to it over regular militia. Oh, it has more suppression. It takes way more officers, though, and more expensive to build. Less manpower, that seems strange. Oh, I don't know what to... Actually, let's start working on some industrial capacity. Yeah, 
I'm really hard pressed for what to buy. I don't. I need more convoys. And I don't have any convoy escorts either. Three more interceptors. This is actually better at attacking the ground. Well, my close air support's the best for that. Let's build another one. Try and request lend lease again from both Germany and Japan. Says they'll give it to me. Fifty-four. Still at fifty-four. Nope, oh, there we go, 77. I think that's better than just buying their production licenses. Still pretty decent on manpower. Let's build a mobile division. Look at the fastest things we've got. Engineers. Recon cavalry, armored cars. Cavalry, it looks like. For 12, I see? Sure. None of these are very good. It's a seaplane tender, that's a new... New unit I haven't seen before. Oh, for hunting submarines. Sure, I'll take one of these. 78 IC. Right, let's see if you can take the hills and I'll take the forest. Of course, into a horrible storm. Yep, see how it affected it. out of this province. I wonder if I can grab it. The Turpits. Cavalry unit. I might be able to break that one. I think almost everybody has heavy artillery. How many are still being built? Three? Perfect. Still need something else. Oh, I need garrison divisions for my ports. Oh, I do want engineers. Infantry detachments and artillery. Oh, Luxembourg's been conquered. How are they doing? Oh, they're up there in Norway. I think they land by event. I think that's what happened when I chose the scripted invasions. Nothing else has happened up there much. France hasn't declared... <laughs> Italy hasn't declared war on France. Hills. Is that a mountain? Nope, 
just more hills. Alright, I should have no problem surrounding this. To April, plenty of good weather for the summer. Little rain. popularity. They're winning this battle. Oh, there we go. That put it over. Annex Luxembourg. Um, the Germans have invaded. The Low Countries. some damage to him. More ways been conquered. battle. 66%. Another one's has been conquered. Seventy-three percent. All right, they're starting to fall pretty fast. Though no, I'm a couple of units pretty beat up. to it for uh, leadership. There we go. Some more aircraft. Kind of experience these guys getting skill three, so he's definitely gotten a level, because I had no skill three guys at all. Everybody's gotten a level. No, he hasn't. Has anybody gained any traits? No. Victory Parade. Fantastic. Lost 78... or 8,000 men. They lost 25,000. 
can't see their battles, but that may have been one of the larger ones of the war. I don't know what kind of other urban areas have been taken. <laughs> Plus, whoever was captured, it'd be nice to see all those things. Alright, well, let's reset this back up. I wish there was a button that I could just select everything in this core. Bulgaria. Oh, it's revoked the Lend Lease. So is Japan. Some mobile units. Have to start with another core for these guys. And to the Arabian army. Mobilized in peacetime. Question is, I guess I should go ahead and declare war on the Allies. So I'll go ahead and do that. War, no, open war, acquire territory, puppet, retake our cores. Yeah, we'll re retake our cores. Get the certain war economy back up. That puts me at war completely with the Allies, doesn't it? Yep. Which is not yet Greece or Yugoslavia. Oh, a mountain division? That doesn't make any sense. Oh wait, yes it does. <laughs> there are, those are mountains. into Aleppo. We'll give all of you guys leaders. Stabbed in the back by mercenary infantry. Yes. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. <laughs> Continue on down the coast. Let's try and move around him. Taking Aleppo. Expect the French and British will send some units up here. Looks like they've started to get into the Italians have started. Yep, I have low manpower, so 25,000 men is pretty good. Moving. Warriors need their haul. Oh, 
if he's gonna try and break out of this. If I can destroy him, that'd be nice. They got specialized light infantry here. Just looks like an only with recon cavalry. That might be not that hard to take out. Strikes. Oh, I'm gonna win this easily. 117 soldiers, 31 soldiers. That's a lot for an airstrike. Alright, well, there goes one division gone. Romania is down here. Wonder if they. if I can send. can I still command them? Allied objectives. Germany. Italy, Hungary, Romania, Slovakia. I wonder if they'll do anything about that. Continue on. Yep, one division gone. Take Damascus. Surround Beirut here and see if we can take it. Aircraft. Time to research more updates for this. Oh, Germany has cancelled a whole lot of its agreements. They're probably all getting sunk. Did capture quite a bit from Bulgaria though, fortunately. Here. Let's take these mountains as quickly as we can. No resistance so far. Oh, there's something. Colonial infantry. I don't even phase it. Fen modifier, 548%. So it doesn't matter if that's a terrible unit or not. It's gonna have no problem defending. Yep, 145 men to one. actually has the port. That one. Istanbul. Oh, this isn't even attached to anything. Guess I should have looked through all of those. sort of armored looks like heavy armor so that's probably what British Matildas some motorized artillery motorized support and that thing's gonna be really tough to deal with um, here's another armored division what are you doing over here Italians oh man the British have a lot heavy artillery more armor heavy armor armored cars motorized support mixed support this is gonna be tough desert end of the hills. Alright, hold the line there for a moment. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.